The studio is different from many other parts of Cigarette because it puts the emphasis on attendees learning while creating. Often the results are tangible artifacts including t-shirts with attendees designing their own graphics to laser cut creations and more. What's important here is that attendees can then take the results away. We work hard to create an inviting atmosphere for attendees to join in and explore the different opportunity to create, build, and share. And we encourage attendees to reach out to the student volunteers as well as our subcommittee to find ways to join in on the fun. So aside from our hands-on projects, the studio also features talks and courses. Studio Talks celebrate innovative solutions with novel results. For instance, this year we have a number of talks from game developers, including many independent studios. Similarly, we have some talks on impact-driven use of more commonly accessible technologies such as 3D printers, featuring applications from archival purposes to prosthetics. We cover the spectrum with courses on both industry standard tools, as well as those that present many of our attendees with opportunities to learn something they may have always had an interest in, including Arduinos and microcontroller programming. In fact, this year we have our Kinetic Sculpture Contest, which has already started with two courses featuring a kickoff on how to use microcontrollers and Arduinos, and now attendees are building unique creations featuring programmable art within the studio. One of the highlights of this year's studio is a project by State of Play, which brings attendees through the process similar to their game Lumino City. The Lumino City project will continue to grow throughout the week as attendees develop their own props, environments, and characters, adding to what's already been created by previous attendees. At the end of the week, the Lumino City project will be completely captured via photography, then transformed into a digital play experience that attendees can download for themselves and play. Other highlights include our command control print area featuring a variety of Epson hardware. Attendees are encouraged to draw on the Cintiqs, print out their own designs, as well as participate in the draw-off and t-shirt design contests. The studio also features a variety of high-quality juried content. We have projects featuring acrylic bending techniques, two paper circuitry, and more. The studio also features content by a group called Mimu Gloves. This group was created by Imogen Heap, a British recording artist. She's joining us remotely on Tuesday morning for a talk on both the creative and interactive opportunities provided by the hardware, which will be followed up by an in-depth look at the wearable technology. After the Tuesday morning talk session, attendees are then invited to the studio to test and explore the Mimu Gloves as a hands-on project. Come and play, build, create, share. That's what the studio is all about in Zagraf 2015.